What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mikey Lopez. If you hear that squeaking, it's uh, Charlie in the background with his toy. He's a good boy, though. So we'll let it, we'll let it slide. Um, it is day 60, I believe. 59 or 60. Pretty sure it's 60. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's been, I guess, almost a week since, uh, since my last video. Uh, so I had, in that week, I had, uh, my doctor's appointment last Friday. And, um... <laughs> uh, uh, hopefully you guys can hear me over the, the squeaking um, But yeah, the doctor's appointment on Friday was went well uh, I went down to one heel wedge uh, I could feel the difference walking around It's like night and day pretty much Feels almost normal um, Obviously, half, half the uh, lift, heel lift Makes a world of difference for me It doesn't I don't feel that much pressure on my heel anymore, so it's, it's easier walking around in longer distances. Um, I still have, my next appointment is next Wednesday, um, so that'll be, so it's two days earlier than what I at first think planned or what I had thought was going to happen, so um, next Wednesday hopefully everything still looks good and we'll go down to, to no heel wedges, so it'll be flat in the boot and then however long it takes me to get to per, to transition out of the boot into shoes. Uh, hopefully that'll be another two weeks. We'll see. Um, it is that. So yeah, next week will be, I guess next Friday will be week 10. Um, so according to the protocol, this is according to the protocol. Um, it was six to 12 weeks, if I can remember correctly, six to 12 weeks. It was progress out of uh, the boot into like full weight bearing, and then it had said months three to nine, or th yeah, three to nine is starting to transition to like soccer specific things. On the protocol, it said twelve weeks, like begin light jogging. I don't think I'll be anywhere close to that. Uh, I did talk to the PT today. The test for me before I can start jogging, I guess, would be to do 10 single leg uh, calf raises. So 10 calf raises on my left leg. And then I guess it will be like to transition or to progress to being able to like run harder. It, I need to do like 20 um, calf raises. So... Still a long ways from uh, from then. Uh, my calf is still <laughs> the, the <laughs> I have like no muscle um, in in my left uh, calf. Uh, it's yeah, it sucks. Like if I touch it, it's like a balloon. Like, like a not a balloon because like I guess a deflated balloon. Like it's just you push it, it's just like super mushy and yeah the yeah. It sucks. Uh, I'm trying to find the word for it. The muscle. Uh, I forgot the word. I ha I know the word, and I it's in the tip of my tongue, and I can't say it. Uh, don't rem don't remember it. Um. Anyway. Uh. So yeah. So I need to rebuild up my my strength, my especially the muscle on my calf, and just so I can be able to start jogging and running. But I am looking forward to. To be able to start walking in within the next uh, four weeks, maybe uh, probably another month before I can go into normal shoes. Um, that'll be big time because I feel like I'm messing up all of my right shoes. So I'm like making it a point that I wear like my beater shoes. That way, I, I don't mess up my my nice shoes and and have one right shoe messed up more than my left shoe because I haven't been able to use a left a left shoe in uh five months so um but yeah it's been it's been good uh this past week has been good uh rehab's been been good today had rehab today um everything feels really good I keep telling my the athletic trainer and the PT guy like I have a false sense of of security because I like my leg and my calf my ankle the range of motion that I have, it feels really easy to get there. 
obviously I'm lacking range of motion, especially dorsiflexion. So that's like going, pulling my foot up. Um, but like, I feel like I can do a lot more than I, I actually can. And, and that's like the scary part for me is like, uh, trying to walk faster in a boot. I, I shouldn't because it could mess up my foot, but like, I feel like I can, um, I, so I had to be like really conscious about what I do and not, and not do. Uh, so I make sure not to do anything stupid like that or trying to react to anything where I can take a quick, quick step. Um, thankfully I'm in a boot, so that kind of stabilizes my ankle, but whenever I get out of the boot, that's kind of one of my, my fears that I got, I will get over once I'm like more comfortable doing all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we'll get, we'll get there and I'll get over it and I'll be able to start doing everything, um, to my normal. So, uh, but yeah, everything's been good. Uh, like I said, um, so growing out my hair, it's kind of in an awkward stage right now. So it's like long, but not long. So if you can see it, it doesn't all stay back the way I want it. So I keep trying to put caps and stuff to make sure it goes back. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it that I have to say. Um, I gotta fix these, the hair around my ears because my ears, because it kind of curls and it's kind of weird. I've never had curly hair, so I don't know where it's, why it's happening now. Um, the last thing is the, <laughs> the the t-shirt giveaway um i will give it away so i'll i'll reply to the comments from the last video and there's only two comments so it won't be that difficult um i will reply to that one and hopefully you can dm me on instagram uh instagram is m lopez uh 12 underscore five i think um i should know this but i'm pretty sure that's it uh so i'll come i'll reply to the comment and then just dm me so i can ship your the t-shirt a, a signed t-shirt um to you so anyway uh that's it for this week uh, i will talk to you guys maybe later this week or next week so we'll see we'll see when i make my new, my next video so anyway uh nos, nos vemos raza peace